Bugarash is a city located in Brasov County, Romania. It has a rich history and captivating landscapes. Let me share some key points about this fascinating place. The city lies on the Old River, which is nestled at the foothills of the Fagarash Mountains in central Romania. The city is situated on the northern side of the majestic mountains, approximately 41 miles or 66 kilometers west of Brasov and 76 kilometers or 47 miles east of Sibiu. Interestingly, the geographical center of Romania is located just west of Fagarash, between an abandoned field and a gas station. The city is about 26,000 people as of 2021. Fagarash is the main city in the subregion. The Old River flows east to west on the north side of the city. The first mention of the Fagarash city appears in historical documents as early as 1291. There is quite a bit of speculation about the origin of the word Fagarash. The origin may be Pechenag, Romanian, or perhaps Hungarian, but clearly there are multiple explanations. The first document that mentions Romanians in Transylvania referred to as Vlaklands, Terra Blackorum in the Fagarash region appears in 1222 in a document that was written by Andrew II of Hungary, which gave the territories to the Teutonic Knights. That didn't last too long, and after the Tartar invasion of 1241-1242, Saxons settled in the area in 1369. But Louis I of Hungary gave the royal estate of Fagorash to his vassal Vladislav I of Wallachia, who had to swear an oath of allegiance to the king for the specific territory, although he was an independent ruler of another state. The territory remained in the possession of the Wallachian princes until 1464. In the 1600s, the city became an economic model for the southern regions of the realm during the reign of Prince Gabriel Bethlen, who ruled between 1613 to 1629. He rebuilt the fortress entirely. Since that time, Fagarash became the residence of the wise of the Transylvanian princes. It was called the City of Queens. Susanna Loranfi, the widow of George Rakazi, established a Romanian school in 1658. Keta Bethlen, who's probably one of the most prominent princesses residing in the town, was buried in front of the Reformed Church, who lived between 1700 to 1759. The church itself holds several precious relics of her life, her bridal gown with a family coat of arms embroidered, and her burial veil made of silk. The fortress itself was initially built in the 12th century out of wood, but it was reinforced with stone and became a stone fortification in the 14th century. Speeding up time and getting into the communist regime period, in 1950s, the communist regime used the castle as a prison for opponents and dissidents. After the fall of the regime in 1989, the castle was restored and it's now a museum and library. After the 1989 revolution, the city experienced a lot of economic hardship with the closing of the factories and many of the residents left the city as guest workers to Italy, Spain and Ireland. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe costs you nothing and it encourages me to produce more videos. Also I would appreciate any comments that you might have about my videos and especially how I could improve them or the kind of material you'd like to see. Thank you.